What's up everybody? My name is Albert now. I'm here at Mick Vickers Skate Park. You might hear a radio in the background. That's why I'm here away from the park, getting some of the dialogue down because that music's gonna close it all off and there's commercials going on. I mean, dude, if you're gonna play music at the skate park, have straight music going. Don't have these commercials. No one wants to hear the commercials while they're skating. There's no hype in that. But uh, that's not what this video is about. This video today is about skateboarding and style, okay? And uh, I know, you know, having style and skateboarding, it's not something you force, but it is something you can slightly create. I mean, when I was a young skater from, you know, when I started at like seven, eight years old, till about 15, 16, maybe even 18 years old, I didn't have the best style. I had stiff arms. Um, you know, I was, people said that my style was kind of like a praying mantis. I had like the upward hands kind of like that. It was weird. And uh, in time, I was able to get myself out of that praying mantis style or out of that weird style and have a more flowy like style, which I think is a style that transition skaters and skaters in general, you know, aim for. But uh, this is about skateboarding style. It's not about style, about what the, you wear or the clothes you wear. It's just about things that can help you improve your style. So without further ado, let's get some warm ups going. Let's go skate the deep end. You're gonna hear music in the background because this guy's blasting music and I'm not gonna ask him to turn it off because I'm not trying to create a problem. We're out here all having fun. So it's all good. When there's music going, I might even rev some more revs than I normally would if there wasn't music. So maybe the skating will be even better in this video than it normally would be. So one of the first things I want to say about uh, having style in skateboarding and especially in transition skateboarding is let things flow. And by what I mean by that is don't force your tricks. Don't force yourself to try to make tricks look good. Just kind of let it happen. In time, you'll have enough experience and enough, you know, skateboarding time put in that you can, uh, you know, let things flow, but at the same time have control over you how you let things flow. If you let things flow too crazy, your arms are going all over the place. It might not be stylish, but you can put control to it and let your arms go to a certain, you know, distance when you're swinging them around and you're doing certain tricks. Um, I know I've done the same thing. I came off shoulder surgery, so I had a while where I was like holding my arm still like straight like this. And, uh, Every time I'd skate around, I'd have the stiff arm and it kind of threw off my style because for a long time I had shoulder surgery. So I'd always skate in a sling like that. And over time, I just developed having a style with a stiff arm like that. So, you know, kind of let your body flow, let your body be loose, be fluid like water. Like Bruce Lee says, you know, be like water. And uh, 
I think that kind of goes for skateboarding, as crazy as that sounds. So rule number one, kind of just let things flow. Don't force things, just kind of let it happen. So another big thing that will help with uh, transition skating and your style is bending your knees. You see a lot of skaters on transition, especially when they're starting to learn transition, their body's stiff. Keep your body bending up and down. By bending up and down, not only are you gonna have a better style, but it's gonna create speed. You pump by bending your knees up and down when you're going up transition, through corners, down transition. By bending your knees, you're gonna create pump, you're gonna have more speed. And let's be honest, having more speed is more stylish you know everyone likes luan i know he's not a transition skater well he does skate transition but luan oliveria for instance like nike skater look him up if you don't know who i'm talking about that dude skates faster than anybody another good example is grant taylor transition there you go like he looks so good on skateboard but if you've ever seen him skate in person he skates faster than anyone else on the ramp and uh i've got to say this dude has probably the best style he's my favorite all-time skater so you know, let your knees bend around. Don't be all stiff, kind of just let it happen. thing that's going to help you guys with style is uh doing your tricks correctly especially when you're skating transition for example let me show you when you're doing airs there's such thing as doing uh there's such thing as doing stink bugs and stink bugs is when you grab in between the knees like this that's not stylish that doesn't look good it's it's ugly let me be honest so a lot of people do what is called tuck knee grabbing around the knee like that going like that it looks so much better when you're in the air grabbing like this than it is when you're grabbing like this let's be honest other grabs such as backside airs you know i think it looks better when you're in front of the foot poking out the back of the tail instead of right there behind the foot i mean behind the foot looks okay don't get me wrong but it only looks good if you know you bend it up like a method like that or if you tweak out your board the right way so learning how to have style with your airs comes with experience and it comes in time. You learn the air first, and from there you learn different tweaks, and you can have more style when you do tricks.
another big thing that helps with uh, style, especially in transition skateboarding, we kind of went over it earlier, is speed itself. By having speed, you're gonna be able to do longer grinds and having longer grinds is stylish versus just doing a little slash grind, doing a stand-up grind, going all the way through pool coping blocks, holding on to it, barely hanging on. That's a lot more stylish than someone that just goes up and does a little, you know, two coping or two block grind, you know? You wanna see someone hit that whole corner versus just in the corner and out of the corner. And that stuff you'll see now in the video. But uh, having speed is crucial to having a good style when you're skating transition. Last thing I want to go over with having style in transition skateboarding is stomping your tricks. And that could go for street skating, transition skating, any sort of skating. When you're, you know, when you're skating hard and you really put down that board, you put down that trick and you just look comfortable with it, that is stylish. When you, uh, you know, you're just barely hanging on, barely hanging on is cool too, don't get me wrong, that skateboarding is exciting. But when you're uh, like kind of sketchy and, you know, power sliding out your tricks or barely making it, putting your hands down for instance, that cannot look good as someone who's just stomping each one of their tricks right under the coping, feet on the bolts, you know. Having, um, you know, a comfortability on their skateboard is stylish and it looks good because that person knows what they're doing. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the skating. McVicker Skate Park always provides, you know, having a good skate park like this where you can, you know, hit different walls, skate a deep end, or just have a great park in general is going to provide for you getting a better style in skateboarding because you're not used to just skating one small obstacle or one thing. You know, McVicker is a big park with a lot of, a lot of features on it. And having a skate park like that will teach you how to skate, you know, anywhere. So, Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys on the next one.